Have you stopped by 1977 yet? <laughs> oh. Michelle's the bartender there. She knows how to make some good dishes, too. Oh. Are you guys friends? She seems kind of jealous of you. Well, wait, Horatio. Have a good one. Sorry, but I've got an emergency mission to take care of. Do you mind coming back later? Um. Horatio's the... Suspect. I mean, not a suspect. He's a... A person I should be... Questioning. I'm gonna follow him. Oh, you're a dog. Dang it. Where do you live, Horatio? Hmm. This might just be a giant waste of time. Sleep at Morris's hotel. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Henry? You're homeless? You sleep outside? Hey, old timer. Do you always sleep in the park? Your town just had a murder incident. Watch out, okay? Can't I give him something? What? Oh my... Um... Okay. <laughs> uh, hey, old timer, do you always... Oh yeah. I like the way you talk. You remind me of... Don't starve? What? That's different. Is that more... Is that Morse code? Seems like he's busy. Guess I'll come back later. That's definitely Morse code. I'm gonna translate that. Ah. Henry Post. Oh wait, you're friendly to animals, right? So can you talk to me? What? Wait, you don't like- You're a dog? Fine. Ugh. Elizabeth didn't have an animal, did she? Hmm. All right, Morris. Welcome to the Downer Hotel B and B. One night is fifty pounds. Your quest reward was sixty-five. For a brief overnight stay, checkout is at ten a.m. Sure. Whatever. I have a feeling this money is a joke. Did you sleep well, Miss Hayward? Mm, yes, I thoroughly look forward to your next day with us. <sighs> How am I going to make 30 million pounds at this rate? Do you have anything to say about Elizabeth? Good morning. Would you like to hear a bit more about the Angel of Death? <gasps> it all began on the night of my 20th birthday, just as I had drifted off to sleep. <gasps> it appeared to me. The Angel of Death held a massive scythe, and made numerous attempts at taking my very life. The horror. Before it left, it told me it would kill me if I should ever return. And then I awoke. What? Good morning. The night of your birthday. But you don't say where. The horror. Okay. Are you gonna help us communicate with Elizabeth? David, oh, you're Michael's, Michael, Michelle's brother. Hello there. Whoa, you have a cool scar. How you doing? You're the photographer from the Big Apple, right? I'm David O'Reilly. I work over at the neighborhood watch section of Town Hall. I keep watch over the trails on weekdays. I know these mountains like the back of my hand, like. <laughs> oh, and Michelle, who runs 1977. She's my big sister. Anyway, I'll be seeing you about. Hey, wait, no, talk to me again. 
Oh, yeah, I could call you over, can I? Hey! Hey. No, wait. What's up? Hello there. I'm starving, but I need to... Mm. Do you think that person who killed Elizabeth was really someone from this town? Uh. Can't agree. I just can't imagine it. Maybe the killer's hiding out in the mountains somewhere, like... I mean, you're a ranger, wouldn't you? No? Hmm? Whoa, whoa, cool it. With the scary daydreams, man. I'm counting on you. I'm just worried about you. If you're ever in trouble, then you make sure you scream at the top of your lungs, got it? Oh, uh, thank you. Man moving. <gasps> okay, so... These quests pay me very little money. A tropical vacation. <gasps> Wait, no! I think I remembered seeing something like this. In, uh... Thomas Berryman's shop. Oh wait, hi Charlotte. Good day. Uh, who are you? Hey! Um, I'm Naomi Hayward, a photographer from New York. Um, I'm Charlotte Macaulay. <laughs> I live with my grandma, Salome. Um... Want to play with me, Naomi? Mm. Uh, I'm kind of busy right now, not... What? Uh, I'm kind of busy right now, but sure. <laughs> Okay, then you go and get some flowers. I'm going to make them into a crown. <laughs> well, you can actually do that? Cool. Um. Want to play with me, Naomi? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, I thought you were serious about making me a hat. Whoa. Hey, Thomas. <laughs> oh, I need so Wait, no, sorry. I don't need anything from you. Also, it wasn't Thomas, it was someone else's store. It's probably Fancy and Bunny. I mean, this thing. Because it has a tourist rack, right? Uh, no? What? Am I thinking of... I might be thinking of something different. What? I might be thinking of a grocery store I saw in real life. <laughs> uh, maybe John... Well... Maybe John has a... No, he doesn't have a set to take pictures. Uh... Wait, it says Tropical Vacation Set, so maybe it is referring to a fake one? I'm not entirely sure, but where would that be? Uh, never mind. Uh, Macaulay, 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 Macaulay. Over there. Oh. Hi, John. Do you have something to say about Elizabeth? Hello again, love. I want something from your auntie. <laughs> La-di-da. Hello there, Naomi. How could this be? I was utterly gobsmacked when I heard about what happened to dear Elizabeth. Mm. It just goes to show that you never know what the future holds. Um, I think I'm just being paranoid, but it feels like everyone's kind of nonchalant about Elizabeth's death. I feel like there would have been a, a mass or something. Some kind of event, but it seems like everyone's kind of just like, yeah, it happened and that was sad, but life goes on. What? <gasps> Where is this? Wait. What is this pointing me to? Wait. I don't think that's pointing me to Salome. I can do this. Pauline lost a sheet of paper that has her recipes on it. This one was at the 1977. Ugh, that's simple enough. Oh, I'm starving. I can eat some, uh, scones. Alright. Um, here. 1977. Is it inside, or is it... Oh, Benedict Macaulay. I haven't talked to you, have I? I'm Ben- <laughs> What? I'm Benedict Macaulay, the vicar of this town's church. I can't do a voice right now, it's like 1am. A toast, if you will! Normally you can- Normally you can find me at the pub. Don't hesitate to drop by if you've got something on your mind. Wait, the pub? Not the church? This vicar must be one heck of an alcoholic. <laughs> ah, if it isn't Miss Hayward, how are you doing this fine day? Not bad, I- Ugh, you smell like cheap liquor, buddy. <laughs> Wahaha. Oh, 
Yeah. Whoa, oh my, you're a funny one. Come now, little lamb. Surely you don't think a man of the cloth like myself would succumb to such indulgences? Then what's that ice-cold mug doing in your hands? This? This, my little lamb, is holy water. Seriously? What? Holy water? Truly. Indeed. Nothing beats a whole pur purified chalice of his own. What? I drink this divine liquid to cleanse myself of daily sins. Nope. No wonder we don't have vicars in the States. Speaking of which, Miss Hayward, you seem to be a frequent drinker of holy water yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you'd call it holy water, but I do like to throw back a strong one now and then. <laughs> back home, they used to call me the Drain Queen. The Queen adored by all liquor? Good Lord! <laughs> what? I'm sorry, little lamb, but I cannot allow that to stand. You see, I myself was known as the Drink King. The king who sucked down all the holy water? It definite, it's definitely a special title. Only fit for someone who truly values alcohol more than their own life. Holy water is the core of my beliefs. I'd never compare it to my own meager. Huh? Heavens above. This world has no need for two monarchs. Your country's run by a queen. Right? Hehehe. <laughs> 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 what is this conversation about? What do you say to a friendly do, little lamb? What? I say bring it. Where did you get that? Bring it on. But what are the rules? It's just a simple drinking contest. A true monarch would settle for no less. Yeah. Simple's best, I say, but I could use a little more motivation. How about we bet some money to make things more interesting? Winner takes all. Truly. So be it. When you're ready to challenge me, just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I won't run or hide. Let's settle this fair and square once and for all in the name of God. I am the one true drink queen, queen king. Are you prepared to duel for the throne? Bring it on. <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy on this poor lost lamb. Hehe. <laughs> what? A cutscene? What? You really thought you could trounce the king? You shouldn't push yourself like that, little lamb. Cheers! What? What? Well, to whoa! Hold on. Oh my, seriously? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just... Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Huh? But you've hardly drunk at all. Whoa. Cheers! Wait. Whoa. No. Whoa. <laughs> this is so weird. Hit. Cheers! Oh my god. You will go on? No. Yeah. God damn hellhole. Uh, Blorg. What? Blorg? Blarf? Can I rematch? Wait. Wait, hold on. What was that? Oh, Johnny Han. I thought that was something new. Ready for a rematch? You're dead meat this time. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy on her. Uh, wait, I'm losing money? You really thought you could trounce the king? You shouldn't push yourself like that, little lamb. Okay, here we go. What? 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 Yep. What? Okay. But you've hardly drunk at all. Yes. Oh my god. What? 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 Oh my god. <laughs> this is nothing. Alright, this is the part. Yeah. Okay, I can't win that. It's actually too hard. <laughs> and he took my money. William. Oh, no. Elizabeth loves to read. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't beat that. Wait, that's a thing I- That is way too much. Uh, speak with Salome. 
Where is she? She's the vicar's wife. What? Oh, I'm hungry. <gasps> Bruno. I'm gonna learn how to make your creamy mushroom pie. And then I'm gonna start my own diner. Be seeing you again. Thank you. Eat. I think I've memorized how this one's supposed to taste. Maybe I could try making it myself now. Well, I can do this. Is it hard to make? Milk, parsnip, king oyster, mwah. Those are special ingredients. <gasps> All I know how to make are potatoes. In the game, at least. <laughs> Where's Salome? What is this arrow pointing me to? Like, where is that pointing? That can't be right. What else can I do? Uh, I'll put a picture of William and... Oh. This was a quest from, um, my boss. Maybe this one pays a lot. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, William. Hold on. Uh, maybe I should take a picture of him from the front. Alright, right, Rita. That's not Rita. Where's Rita? Uh, is she eating or drinking? You are not playing with the music. Oh. <laughs> hey, Fakari, is your girlfriend visiting? No. Can I help you? Dang it. Oh, you have a quest too? I'm loath to make any judgment without giving you a proper checkup, but you're clearly ill, Hayward. Yeah. What can I do you for? Let's talk. How are you feeling? Can I help you, Hayward? Hey! Nah, just thought I'd stop by, Doc. Oh, jeez. Guess you know you're in a weird town when the vet has to work as a doctor too, huh? Just so that there are no misunderstandings, I have a... <laughs> just so I know... Just so that there are no misunderstandings, I have a proper doctor's license. I also administer regular treatment to Mr. White. Hmm. Mr. White? Come to think of it, Hayward, I have a request for you. Would you mind catching a cold for me? Seriously? What? That's the last thing I expected you to say. Also, I did that already. It's good practice to treat a younger patient every once in a while. Colds are easy to catch when your body's weakened or from spending too much time in a cold place. Uh, I'd like you to go out, catch a cold, and come back straight. And come straight back Seriously? to me. Seriously? You want me to get sick on purpose? So you would rather I fall out of practice and not be able to treat you when you need it? I'm the only doctor in town, mind. Go on. I'll be happy to pay for your trouble. I'm counting on you. But... I bet... But... I paid a hundred dollars to cure myself last time. Do I want to get sick again? I don't think so. I want to find Rita. Hold on. Town Hall. Uh, Elizabeth used to work here. Wait, wasn't this one of the... Okay. Uh, maybe there's something here. Oh. It's the town hall. <laughs> um. I was looking for you. Just your picture. How may I help you? Hand over the town register! <laughs> what? <laughs> Elizabeth Dickens, age... Question mark? Douglas, Horatio, Henry. Henry's 102. Um. Morris. Is, Morris is only 50? I thought he was older. Lynette Burley's 32. Benedict is 66. Salome is 58. Emma, Emma Klein, Charlotte are all 9. Rudman, Mr. White. I haven't seen him yet. Alan and Ian White. Twins. Uh. In Deadly Premonition, there was a guy kind of like Redman White, but he was in a wheelchair, and I think he was rich, and I think he also had twin nephews. Maybe that's a reference. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Wait, what? Honorary Citizen Registry? Oh, Kickstarter backers. 
Uh. Okay. Wait, can I talk to you again? Let me help you. Pity. Sorry, but I got a busy day ahead of me. I have to come back another day. Okay, so this wasn't a very productive video. I actually lost so much money. But it was interesting talking to all the villagers I didn't get to talk to. And poking around a lot. So I'm hoping for the next- what? Whoa, how did this sunflower get so big? What the heck happened to it? It's a monster. What? Violin music? You, Poe? Oh, look who it is. Sorry, but I didn't order an outdoor violin recital. Um. Are you trying to tell me something, Gramps? Uh, okay. Look, I know you only ever speak through your music. The problem is, I have no idea what you're saying. I guess I'll just have to memorize it and ask Horatio to de declare? To decode it for me? Horatio. Are you the veteran? No. Okay, I think I got it. Dang it, if only I had my smartphone, I'd be able to record this. Time to go see the old vet. Listen to the voice of nature. Uh. Oh my gosh. I was gonna end the video here, but I think I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Hold on. Accurately convey Henry's message to Horatio. I can do this. Accurate. Um. So if Horatio can translate that, I'm pretty sure that it's Morse code. But that implies. That Pono's Morse code. Horatio, I have a favor to ask. Hey! Hey, Sarge, got a minute? What's the problem, Hayward? I've not got all day. Your teacher suddenly showed up in my garden and started playing his violin. It seems like he's trying to tell me something. I memorized the melody, so can you decode it for me? Yeah. Of course, Private. But before I do that, I need one more piece of information. Why on God's good green earth would you my Oraha would my visitor would my teacher visit your garden? Do you know? What? I might after I planted the weird seed it grew into this huge sunflower. When I was staring at it, he came up behind me and suddenly started playing. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha? Uh -huh. You see, my teacher has a special ability that lets his ears hear the voices of animals and plants. Seems to me like he's trying to tell you what the sunflower's saying. Are you for real? That sounds like something out of a fairy tale. Well, <laughs> but then again, I'm in a town where people turn into cats and dogs. And then people talk to me from beyond the grave. Considering that, should I really be surprised that plants trying to talk to me now? Maybe not, Naomi. What? You know plants can't talk. You've been in this town too long. Dang it. Now then, I think we've deliberated on this matter for long enough. What did my teacher say, Private? Repeat it back to me as accurately as possible. Um, I think it went like this. What did Henry play? Ah. Uh, wait. I remember the bottom one. That was the first one he said, but I think... This one? I'm thinking. Hmm, that can't be right. What can't be right? My teacher's speech is organized according to specific rules, a type of grammar, if you will. But the message you gave me didn't follow- Dang it! You'll have to go back and ask him to repeat it. Alright, hold on. What do you mean? I just- That was bloody fast. Did you actually go and ask him what he said again? <laughs> I remembered it on my way here. There? Relax. I know I got it this time. What did Henry play? What? Wait, um, the, 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 dang it, how the hell did it go? Christ. What in the bloomin' heck are you doing? Just go back and ask him again. Trust me, that's the smart thing to do. And if you can't memorize it, then take notes. <gasps> uh, fine. <laughs> I thought I could trick you, but this game is smart. Where is he? Oh, he's in the park. 
Hey, Paul, I need you to repeat to me what you played before. Hey! Yo, Grandpa Cool. Yeah. I... Sorry, can you play back what you said one more time? I'm assuming that says okay. Alright, so it's... Yeah. Three. And then two. One. Then three, two, one. Okay. Wait. You know what? Hold on a second. Alright. Okay, I think I got it. Now to see Horatio. Now are you ready to tell me what Mrs. Yishu said? Um, I think it went like... What did Henry play? He played... Wait, didn't I... Pick that one already? Wait... Oh no! Um... The... This one. Yeah. I see, so that's it. What did he say? He said... The sunflower is singing. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Now we're really veering into fairy tale territory here. Hayward, you can't let yourself become a slave to common sense on the battlefield. But we aren't on a battlefield. If something baffles common sense, then you've got to stay calm and gather intel. I'm thinking. That sunflower seed originally came from Virginia's shop, yes? Go to her and see what you can find out. Then and only then will your next mission become clear. Godspeed, Private. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do this, but only because I like talking to Virginia. <laughs> hey, Virginia. Cool. What are you waiting for? You need something, right? Uh, let's talk. Hey! Hey, Virginia. Are you busy? <sighs> Not particularly, but I'd appreciate it if you kept it short. I'm trying to think up an idea for my next stream, three. <laughs> I bought a weird seed from your shop and planted it in my garden. And it grew into a huge sunflower. Oh, that seed? Grandpa Henry brought that into my shop a long time ago. I think he brought instructions for it too. Let's see. Where can I find where I put them? Seriously? Wait, what? Why the hell would a seed come with instructions? It's a branding type of sunflower. Apparently, you can connect to it via Bluetooth to play music on it? You mean it's a speaker? Wait, no, that can't be right. It looks just like any other plant, aside from how huge it is. Sorry, but that's all I know. John might be able to help, actually. You know how good he is with machines. But it's not a machine. It's a plant. <laughs> oh, fine. Whatever. I'll go see John. You do that. Meanwhile, I'll look around for the instructions. What? Huh? Talk to John about the huge sunflower? Is it night time? Ugh. I hope he's still working. John? Oh, Hey. Hey! Need something? Hey! Hey John, got a minute? Sure, need me to fix your PC? No, I need you to work on something else today. It's, uh, well, just promise me you won't laugh first, okay? You ever hear of a sunflower that can connect to Bluetooth? <laughs> oh, yeah, actually I have. The British are... Er, never mind. Did he almost say British Army? It's a brand new type of sunflower, right? One that can be used as a speaker? I know how to work most sunflowers. Mind letting me take a crack at it? Um... Wait... Oh, so this is what the brand new sunflower looks like. Pretty cute. <laughs> yeah, she looks ready to jive. All right. How can I use it to play music? This one's a very special sunflower, so it needs a very special app. Hang here a tick. First, I need to start up the app, then turn on Bluetooth pairing. Okay, this should do it. Wow. Really is playing music. Interesting. Whoa. Hmm. It's a bit naff though. It almost sounds like the woofer's not strong enough or something. <gasps> this girl should be able to sing much better than this. What? Hmm. No, not even I'm sure what about. No, not now. Now, not even I'm sure about what to do. What? Uh. What? Three, two. Uh huh. Violin music? Oh? 
Oh, it's him again. What are you saying? Uh, this sunflower doesn't sound too good. Got any idea what's wrong? That's the same melody as before. Maybe he's trying to give us some advice. Oh, that's right. Old man Henry speaks through his violin, doesn't he? Any idea what he's trying to say? Alright, memorized it. Wow, that fast? Trust me, this isn't my first rodeo. Alright, sit tight while I get Horatio to decode it. I didn't take a picture! I... I forgot. Wait. Maybe I can... Guess. Hold on. Hey, Horatio. Oh, you're having steak. That looks delicious. Let me take a picture again. Huh. Attention! Good to see you made it back in one piece, Private. How's the mission coming along? We were able to get the sunflower to play music, but it sounds bad. Your teacher tried to give us some advice, but of course he can't understand what he's saying. I can sense he's trying to tell us something, though. I memorized the melody, so can you decode it for me? Of course, Private. Huh. Of course, Private. What did he say to you? Repeat it back to me as accurately as possible. Huh. I think it went like this. What did he play? What did he play? Huh. I think... I think... Uh, I... Uh. I'm thinking. I see. Now I get it. Get what? Oh, I did it. He said the sunflower is thirsty. You mean I just need to water it? No matter how brand new this type of sunflower may be, it's still a plant at the end of the day. Okay. I'll go let John know. Thanks. Don't mention it, Private. Keep up the good fight. <sighs> wow. Um, okay. Convey to Hura? Oh, Berryman. John, is he just standing at my house forever now? Hold on. Hey. Hey! Hey, did you figure anything out? Horatio decoded the message. Horatio decoded the message. Apparently, we just need to water it. Water it, huh? I never even thought of that. But I guess it makes sense. She is a plant, after all. She's bound to need water every now and then. Well then, let's give it a try. Wow, she really does sound completely different now. Phew, I'm just glad to know that... What? I'm just glad to know all the running around paid off somehow. What? Hey, I finally found the instructions, yawn. But I guess you don't need them anymore, huh? Hey, Jenny. How about featuring the sunflower in your next video? You know, that might not be such a bad idea. I'll think about it. What? Uh, um, hold on. Alright. Hey, Naomi, what's he saying? How should I know? Want me to go drag her issue over here? Someone looking for me? Ha! <sighs> Thank gosh. <laughs> he said the sunflower's happy. And X, hey word. Hey wah. Excellent work yet again. Even my teacher's been impressed by your performance. In fact, he's so impressed that he's going to give you a special reward. Yeah, baby! Whoa, really? Today's my lucky day. Is it $65? Nice work, Naomi. Congratulations, Naomi. Congratulations, <laughs> Naomi. Congratulations, <laughs> Naomi. Thanks, as always. Oh. Uh, oh, wait. A hundred pounds? That's better. I mean, I'm down 700, but that's something. I have to upload pictures. Okay. Uh, pictures. I have to upload a picture of you. Okay, a picture of William. What? Delete your oldest. Oh. Wait, oh, and a picture of Rita. Did that work? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, as always. 50 pounds? 
Oh, the hot words changed. Happy couples, sweet desserts, cute girls, animal paintings, and pretty women sitting. That's a very creepy list, actually. So I'm gonna take a picture of couples, girls, and pretty girls sitting? Okay. Uh. Oh. I got another email from Lucy. Dear Naomi, this is Lucy from Morning Bell. We confirmed that the photos you uploaded match up perfectly with our list. I always knew I could trust you with this delicate research project. Next, we'd like you to investigate a different area. We heard that the happiest town once had a booming tourism industry. But what about now? Our research tells us that there's only one inn, one cafe, and one pub in town. Mushroom Evans, 1977, and Downer Hotel. We'd like you to upload a picture of each establishment. We've already acquired accounting data from each of the establishments. So comparing those with actual photos should tell us about the current state of affairs. Idyllic country town, unmasked as a tax evasion utopia. I doubt it'll win us a headline that exciting, but it never hurts to dream. Once we confirm each photo, we'll pay you this reward. 60 pounds! Amazing! I'll save that for later. Gah! Okay. <laughs> My voice is dead and I sound kind of tired, but I actually really enjoy this. I love doing games, but I love doing things like this. It's very relaxing. <gasps> I'm gonna just save. Blah. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye. I'm gonna cook some potatoes. Potatoes. Uh, can I make a bunch of potatoes? I guess. No. Woo! <laughs> Dang it.